Hello, Fantrax users. Some info regarding Fantrax and the Playoff Computer app to share. First, Fantrax import functionality has been added to the app. There was some hesitation in doing so for the reasons we're about to get into. And for what it's worth, I am by no means an expert on Fantrax. If I say something that is incorrect, please let me know. For all I know, I could be way off base on something. The issue is the Fantrax API, which is like the translator the app uses to interpret the data from your league site, seems to be on a multi-year development hiatus. The info it currently contains, at least for the purposes of the app, is bare bones and missing some relatively key details. Here's a comparison between what the Fantrax API provides for team data compared to most of the other fantasy sports hosting sites. As shown, the Fantrax data on the left for one team consists of only a couple fields name, ID, win-loss record, that's about it. And the data from the other site on the right, you can see has a lot more info. For the Playoff Computer app, the important thing here is the Fantrax API doesn't provide any information that might be used in a standings tiebreaker for it to use in the calculations. While Fantrax offers several different options for tiebreakers, including division records, points, and head-to-head, -head, their API does not contain any of that information. Furthermore, each league's site is hidden behind a login with no options that I can find anyway of making it public like some of the other sites have so that crude screen scraping methods to get the data are not possible either. Before we get into the effects of this issue, let's just go back to the import screen just for a minute to do a brief tutorial on how to import a Fantrax league. From the import screen, select Fantrax, duh, and put in the league ID and which is that jumble of characters shown on the league site. There is an option to save the league ID, so it only needs to be typed in once. One good thing is that Fantrax has user input for both team names and abbreviations, or short names as they call it. Given the often hysterical but long-winded team names people come up with, the display and PDF report with the pass to clinch can be more readable with, abbre with abbreviations if they're easily identifiable. For example, leagues that replicate NFL team names with NFL abbreviations. Okay, back to the main point. Here's a Fantrax league as imported into the app. One additional note, on some sites the app can automatically grab playoff info like how many wildcard spots there are. That is not the case with Fantrax, so that will need to be manually selected. Anyway, here we can see that in this league, which for our purposes we'll say uses points as a tiebreaker, the issue is that the app couldn't get that info, so every team is just showing zero points. The main effect of not being able to factor in tiebreaker info into the app's calculations is that it only has win-loss records to go with and can't determine out of the numerous possible scenarios that remain which team would win or lose any tiebreaker. So the odds display will have a higher than normal percentage for how often a team would end up in a tie with others that which teams win or lose can't be determined yet. Similarly, the PDF report with the paths to clinch will only show clinching scenarios based on win-loss records and will have a higher than normal amount of scenarios it spits out in which a team would end up in a tie. 
So what does all this mean for general accuracy and enjoyment of using the app with Fantrax leagues? The answer to that will depend on what tiebreakers a particular league employs. If points are the primary tiebreaker, the noticeable effect will be very minimal, if anything. As usually, who will win a points tiebreaker for the last few spots is not really known until the very last week of the season anyway. So not being able to factor those into the calculations doesn't really change anything. Multi-division leagues that use division record as a primary tiebreaker are going to experience a little more of the effects I mentioned. And those that use head-to-head -head as the first tiebreaker are going to likely have the most noticeable effects. Keep in mind all this that the app is still perfectly usable. It's just going to show results without tiebreakers in mind. Now for what to do about it. Some kind of edit function where the relevant data, namely points and division records, could be manually entered is being considered. The other one for those that really want the best possible experience from the app is to contact Vantrax and politely request they resume work on their API to catch up to the many other sites in which the app can get full details out of. That's it for now. Enjoy your day and may the draft gods be with you.